Grupo Gasparin was born 45 years ago in Los Tigres, a municipality of Rodriguez Clara in Veracruz, founded by Don Jaime Gasparin, starting in the fruit production business along with his four brothers, making up an excellent working team, quickly distinguishing themselves in the harvesting of the finest pineapples in the area. Don Jaime Gasparin's secret to business success has been family, where he has always put his confidence. In the beginning, working with his brothers, and later, with his sons, with solid education and fresh ideas that brought, in very short time, expansion into other territories, such as the creation of new services, achieving the reinforcement for Don Jaime Gasparin, who today also is owner and president of an agricultural and construction machinery distribution network of a strategic location in seven southeastern states in the Mexican Republic. The guidelines of Grupo Gasparin have always been innovation, the principal goal being to produce and offer high quality pineapple. Working 5,000 hectares of fertile land, having a yearly production capacity of 35,000 tons of pineapple, generating tremendous earnings for the business, and this year registering close to $7 million, meeting the demands of both the national and international market using leading-edge technology to satisfy client requirements. Pineapple is a fruit with deep roots in our country. Traditionally, there was the planting of the Cayenne Lisa pineapple, but thanks to technological advances and owing to the new needs of a changing market, a hybrid known as MD2 was developed in the laboratories of Hawaii. The first tests of this hybrid were conducted in Costa Rica because of its warm earth with its close proximity to the equator and an average temperature range of 20 to 28 degrees centigrade, 68 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, with the result being a sweeter variety, on average 13 degrees bricks, this being the degree of measure of pineapple sweetness, and with an intense yellow pulp, high in fiber, more aromatic, less acidic, with freshness and firm consistency, and lower ascorbic acid content, and which permits consistent quality in its production year-round, thus offering many commercial advantages such as longer shelf life, resistance to the rigors of transportation, better uniformity in size and shape, etc. Thanks to the vision and interest of the Grupo Gasparin, Tests were carried out on the climatology and soil analysis was done in our country for the possibility of developing this new variety of pineapple here on land located in the states of Veracruz and Tabasco. Seed from Costa Rican suppliers was purchased in early 2000 and the first sowing was done. Following various tests, it was found that our land possessed the necessary characteristics for cultivation determining that it was worthwhile to invest in both seed and technology to begin the development of seed beds which allowed for increasing our production little by little and thus reach our goal of continuous market production beginning in January of 2007. And we have reached our goal! Throughout this process it was necessary to equip our fields with deep well irrigation and also change the distribution of complete hectare sowing in ridges between furrows with specific measures, allowing for tractors equipped with mechanical arms and carrying special additives to be able to fertilize, fumigate and induce flowering with the exact measures of necessary materials. The process of pineapple cultivation is laborious and requires dedication and effort. At Grupo Gasparin, each stage is of vital importance. Starting with seed selection, cut from the mother plant. The soil being prepared with organic earth material, utilizing different implements to leave it as loose as possible. Sowing is done manually. The seed receives fertilizers before planting in order to obtain good fruit. And later, plant hydration is maintained through irrigation using granulated and foliar fertilizers in search of a well-developed plant that is always well-nourished and free of infestation for its well-being. During this time, plants are manually covered for protection from solar damage in order that the harvest allows us a selection in accordance of color and size 
and finally, being transported in shallow beds in order to avoid damage when in transit for packaging. Having obtained a good sowing, there are the necessities of post-harvest, which are realized through large investment and the acquiring of a packing plant with electrically operated conveyors and refrigeration rooms. The most advanced process of pineapple selection has been implemented, which begins with washing the fruit. Its stalk is sealed with fungicide to avoid fungus. And later, it's waxed in order to seal the pores, attempting to avoid decomposition through bacteria. On the same conveyor, it is fan dried and later heads for taping in order to differentiate between Cayenne pineapple and honey pineapple. And later, ticketed with barcoding as required by clients. It is selected for size, color, and palletized to finally be put in the refrigeration rooms with a controlled temperature of 45 degrees Fahrenheit or between 8 to 10 degrees centigrade and thus comply with the primary objective of offering high quality pineapple. The fruit is transported in refrigerated units with each one having a cargo capacity of 24 pallets which contain 65 trays each making for a total of 1,560 trays per container. The trays are packed with 11.3 kilograms 25 pounds each and the calculations are 8 pineapples with an average weight of 1.3 kilograms 2.8 pounds 7 pineapples with an average weight of 1.5 kilograms, 3.3 pounds. 6 pineapples with an average weight of 1.8 kilograms, 3.9 pounds. 5 pineapples with an average weight of 2.2 kilograms, 4.8 pounds. The variety of MD2 sown in Mexico, and which is currently known as honey pineapple, has begun to have good market positioning, and sales have registered a quantitative increase which has been achieved through the introduction of the Gasparine brand in leading supermarket stores such as Walmart, Soriana, Grupo Chidrawi, HEB, Comercial Mexicana, and many others, and through exports to the United States, Canada, and countries in both Europe and Asia. The opening of a storage facility in the main warehousing and wholesaling district in Mexico City allows for direct sales without the need for middlemen. Our offices are located in Ciudad Isla Veracruz. Our representatives and point of sale can be found in Warehouse T144 in the central warehousing and wholesaling district in Mexico City. Thus, today, we have pride and satisfaction in our work reflected through our dedication and effort at Grupo Gasparine. <laughs>